How's it going, Reef Keepers? I uh, just wanted to give you an update on the uh, Christmas gift tank that I created for my daughter. So, interestingly, uh, as you can tell by the murk in the water, um, <laughs> it had a phytoplankton bloom. And I understand that the murkiness in the water right now does not look particularly green under the lighting. That lighting is pretty white, pretty crisp, and therefore it kind of changes the hue of it when the lights turned up like it is now uh the, in the morning before the lights turn on you can see how deep green that murk in the water is so i'm pretty positive that it's phytoplankton it happened to me on my fluval evo when i first set it up when i first got my first tank rolling you know years back and it had never happened again when i started a tank but for some reason it ended up happening with this tank. So um, this right here, you can kind of make out the rock scape inside. It's actually not as bad as it was um, because I have had a little UV sterilizer running on this thing. Just a little three watt UV sterilizer that I got on Amazon. I'm gonna actually turn it off and pull a little probe out. Let me go ahead and hit the off button, all right. So, I'll move this aside. The little UV sterilizer that I got is right here. This guy. You can see it's got Chinese symbols on it and everything. I mean, it does say UV on it. Excuse me. There it is. Um, but this is all it is. Is this tiny little probe. It literally cost $12 on Amazon. I'm not even gonna drop the link or anything like that because these things are, you know, I mean, you just type in aquarium UV sterilizer and you'll get 10 different options on Amazon for one just like this. Um, they all look to be about the same, but I just dropped it in the rear chamber and left it running and just leaving that thing running for less than 48 hours has made it so, I mean, if you see this coral in the front, the little dark one, um, this Ghani right here, you could not even see that. That's how thick the murkiness was in the water. And interestingly, um, and I guess, I mean, this tank is not, I think it's a foot tall, you know, maybe 11 inches tall. Waterline might be, you know, well, waterline's probably 10 or 11 inches. And interestingly, from what I can tell, all the corals seem okay. Um, it's it was murky like that. I don't I don't subscribe to Amazon Prime, so I had to wait like nine days or something like that for this UV um, to deliver. And until it delivered, I was worried. I was like, you know, I can't even see the corals. Like, are they you know dying in there? From what I can tell, even the SPS frags are. And you you guys can't really see it, but I can. Um, you can barely make it out there. Like, the Digitata frags that I have in there are fine. Um, they're totally fine. I've kept up, you know, dosing, kept up water changes. So if this happens to you, I would say, <laughs> you know, I guess I can't speak to a deeper tank. But I would say if you have a nano tank, it's probably not something to worry about. Get on it and spend the 13, 14, 15 bucks that you need to get a three or a five watt, you know, little UV sterilizer and drop it in the back and let it do its work. Because like I said, this has cleared up significantly, you know, within a 48 hour period. I mean, well, well within that. Um, and I, I also turned the skimmer up. I don't know that the skimmer is going to, going to pull out phytoplankton. I don't know how that all works. I don't, I don't know if it's the skimmer is going to recognize it as waste or what, but I did, I did skim a little wetter, um, so I'm emptying that like every day right now, just to, just to try to, you know, keep things coming out of the tank. Um, but yeah, I, it's it, it, these little tiny UV sterilizers. Look, if it works to get your tank clear, and that's all it does, and after it clears your tank, you know, you try to go back to it for something else six months later, and it's broken for whatever reason. It was 13 bucks, you know, um, and for what they are and what they need to do, um, I highly recommend if you have just kind of a bloom in your tank, whether it be bacterial or, um, 
you know, some kind of Fido. If you want to get that stuff clear, don't spend, an, don't spend, you know, crazy amounts of money on it. Don't freak out. Don't panic. You know, I don't think you need to jump to doing 100% water changes or anything like that. But I could see a new reefer because I've witnessed this with my Fluval 13 gallon. Back then I panicked. I absolutely panicked and I ended up killing a couple corals in my panic trying to respond to the situation in stupid ways. Don't do that. It doesn't require panic. The corals are fine. They've been in here a week in this Merc and they're completely fine. So uh, just keep, keep on keeping on, keep doing what you're doing. Wait for the product to arrive, get it rolling right away when it shows up and you'll be fine. So anyway, um, just a unique situation. Um, I don't see a lot of videos on it or haven't. It might not be that unique. It might happen to people and there's just not a lot of discussion about it, but, uh, pretty sure that's what it was and uh, it's clearing clearing right up so not a big deal all right thanks guys if you're enjoying the content please like and subscribe appreciate it